In 1999, when Pacific Beach resident Elliot Recht was 45 years old, he went to the doctor for a checkup. His doctor found a high level of protein in his blood and sent Recht to a specialist. Recht remembers what the specialist told him. So he says, well, you can do a stem cell transplant or chemotherapy. And I'm going, what are you talking about? And he said, you don't know this, do you? I said, what? He says, you have a blood cancer. Recht was diagnosed with myeloma. Myeloma is the second most common blood cancer after non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. About 20,000 Americans are stricken with the disease every year. The special feature of myeloma is that it stays in the bone or the bone marrow. So myeloma, it's a myelobone marrow oma tumor. So it's a bone marrow tumor and it grows like a lump in the bone marrow. And so it increases in size and so it can damage the bones around it. And so it can damage your spine. It can cause a lot of pain and disability, uh, bone fractures. And so this is a very disabling disease. It wasn't that long ago that a person with myeloma had only one treatment option. First, an infusion of chemotherapy, then a bone marrow transplant in one of these rooms. But within the last decade, some drugs like Revlimid, Velcade, and Thalamid have emerged as frontline treatments. These medications have helped myeloma patients live longer, but they're not a cure, and they don't suppress the disease forever. Well, the Revlimid, after about four years, within the last year, has started to uh, fail a little bit. The myeloma is starting to increase a little bit. That's why the search is on at Moore's UCSD Cancer Center for better treatments for myeloma. Dr. Katriona Jameson says the reason people die from cancer is they relapse. She believes the key to myeloma is getting a better understanding of what happens inside bone marrow. So if we can understand the interplay between the myeloma cancer stem cell and its environment, then we'll be able to devise better strategies. They're likely to be combination strategies that will be able to eradicate those cells that we think are at the root cause of relapse. Researchers at UC San Diego are also involved in clinical trials of potential myeloma therapies. Hematologist Erin Reed is the principal investigator for three of the trials. She says the current regimen of drugs is good, but... We don't have a cure. We have so much, we have so much room for improvement without a cure. We need to find something that is going to get rid of the disease forever. Elliot Recht heads up a myeloma patient support group. Over the years, he's seen a lot of people die from the disease. But Recht says he's lived a lot longer than anyone expected. When I was diagnosed, it was a uh, three-year life expectancy, and that's what I was told. Uh, I attributed it to good luck. 